Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Skidoo. Better rides, better riders. By Motor Fist, rugged by design. By Straight Line Performance. Shop online at straightlineperformance.com. And by Arctic Cat. Share our passion. Welcome back to Sledded 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with Mac and Fish. Now, right now, we're going to meet one of the fastest snowcross racers of the AMS Oil Championship Snowcross Series. He's definitely out to win it on a Polaris. When it comes to racing a sled to the max on a snowcross track, there's really only one boss, and that's Polaris's Ross Martin. On the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series, number one in the Pro Open class is number 837. Just uh, our team working that much harder over the summer and getting stuff ready, and uh, I think we're going to take charge and put it to him. This might be the season Ross wins it all, with a great track record and plenty of confidence to build up. Last year, Ross and Tucker Hibbert battled at each race, pushing hard, and the result was some great racing. Under the Silverdome in Pontiac, Ross won the Michigan National in a race that featured a wild scramble at the start. So far, Ross has earned three Pro Open championships, 22 Pro National wins, and has stepped up on the national podium 57 times. Numbers that will only grow larger over time. I'd say like as you get older, you kind of think about things a little more. Um, you know, you got a full season ahead of us, but yet you want to win at the same time, but you don't want to end your season at the first race either. And I think when you're a little younger, there'd be a, a jump or a triple, you, you wouldn't even think twice about hitting it. And uh, the more experience you have, the, the more it means to you, whether it pays off to do that now or later or ever. Another edge for Ross is the team surrounding him. Yep. Judnick Motorsports yep. in Polaris. Ross has been racing a Polaris for close to a decade. I have 100% confidence in it. When that flag drops, I know the sled's gonna be there, be reliable. Awesome power, as you can see, the whole shots we're getting, and uh, the sleds are just great. A lot of fast, hard-working guys out here, but Ross says he ain't giving that thing up. Everybody's working hard, and boy, nobody's leaving anything uh, uh, hanging out there, I'll tell you that. Ross started the season with a victory in round two of the Pro Open class at the Amsoil Duluth National. In the inaugural Amsoil Dominator Series, Ross took the top prize. The Dominator is a one-on-one -on -one winner take all, two lap race series. And Ross left Spirit Mountain with 10 grand in his trailer. It was kind of a head-to-head -head race. It started off with 16 guys and it just kept getting narrower and narrower until the last two were standing. And, um, the last two guys went on a two and a half lap race and winner take all $10,000. But getting off to a great start doesn't make it any easier. A long season lies ahead. I mean, there's always pressure when it comes to racing, but I wouldn't really say any more pressure. Oh, I'd say endurance is pretty important and track get pretty rough out there and it's, it's uh, pretty challenging to go wide open the whole race. And I think that's what we'll all be working towards. Yeah, this is just the beginning of the war. I mean, I think we all know we have a whole season ahead of us, a lot of racing to go, and you want to be there at the end. So let the snow cross battles begin. Ross will be ready. I'd like to try and win that championship this year. Wow, Ross Martin on a Polaris. Doesn't get much better than that. Certainly doesn't. He is the boss. He's the boss for the reason. His whole shots are legendary. He's always out in front. He's the one everyone's chasing down, and he's always on a podium. No one does it like the boss. Well, yeah, and you ever seen his sleds? You watch those Polaris sleds, and the way they're set up, they're a little nose high, so like coming down those downhills in the moguls, they fly out. A lot of the other sleds are nosing in, not the Polaris's. They have a tendency to nose out much faster in the big bumps and on the downhills. Absolutely right, you guys. Thank you so much. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode of Sledded 24-7, so make sure to visit us online at sledded24-7.com. I'm Misha Johnson, along with Mac and Fish, and we will see you next time. On the next edition of Sledhead 24-7, Mac and Fish head to the UP. They'll test ride the latest Skidoo with R-Motion and show you how it makes our great riding sled even better.
and we'll go one-on-one -on -one with Snowcross champ Tucker Hibbert, a racer with a fast reputation and a name that's hard to forget. Those stories and more next week on Sledhead 24-7.